depending on whether you're creating a repeating sales or purchase invoice, from the main dashboard, go to the Accounts tab, then select Sales or Purchases. I'm going to use Sales for this demonstration, but creating a repeating purchase invoice is almost identical. From the drop-down on the New button, select Repeating Invoice. This is where I can create the template and tell Xero what I want it to do with the template. So first I will create this part, the blue part, which is the template. The situation is that I send one of my clients an invoice for support every two weeks. The amount is always the same. So I want Xero to do this automatically for me. So I need to put in my client's name and it is a client I've been invoicing previously so they are already in the system and it's basket case. I can then put anything I want in this reference box, it is a free type box but I'm going to leave that blank. As it says here, Xero will, will enter the next invoice number when the invoice is created. Now this client does have the very orange invoice um, defaulted to her on her contact details as the overall default is every day. So I'm going to leave it at the very orange invoice branding theme. Now I'm using the premium version of Xero so I do have the option to create other currencies but I'm working in British pounds. And I also have the options here to create my invoice using tax exclusive prices or to create the tax inclusive prices. I'm going to leave it at the VAT exclusive. I then can you select um, an item or items from my inventory list, but I'm actually just going to free type this one. So it's my um, fortnightly support. And for that, I charge £100. And I only have one sales um, account in my chart of accounts. So I'll start typing sales and it pops up. And it, the default VAT is 20% VAT on income, which is correct. I have two tracking categories set up. These are optional set up in the settings. And I can select options from those tracking categories. So we're going to say this is um, from the south and uh, my name is Emily. So I've filled in my invoice, that's all I want on there. So you can see that there's my price and the VAT and the total. Now I need to tell Xero what to do with this invoice template. So I need to fill in this pink part at the top. So it's defaulted to one month, but in fact I want this sent every two weeks. And the next invoice I want to be sent from the 15th of November. It's actually due um, seven days after the invoice date. We do have some other, other options so we can put in a date of the following month. Now I can put an end date here. So I, if I have um, something I'm charging my customer for a finite amount of time, so say for 12 months, I can actually put the end date. So Xero will stop creating this invoice on this date. But I'm going to leave this open. The support will go ongoing for however long the client wants it. I can upload any of my digital documents either from my library or directly onto here if I want to. And then I need to say what um, in slightly more detail what I want Xero to do. Do I want Xero to create this invoice and save it as a draft? If it did that, I would then need to go into the draft and I would need to approve it and send it to the customer. Or I could ask Xero to automatically approve it, but it would sit in a waiting payment and I would actually have to send it to the customer. Now this option, Approve for Sending, is only available on the sales repeating invoices. It's not available on the purchases, but you do have Save as Draft and Approve on the purchase repeating invoices. Now I'm going to select Approve for Sending, which means I now have to make sure I've got the right email template for Xero to create the invoice, approve it and automatically email it out to my customer. I need to make sure I have the right email address and I have what I need to say on the email template. Once I'm happy with that, 
I can either in, I can include the PDF attachment as well as I, if I wish, and I can also have the invoice sent to me um, if I want to as well. And I can save that um, message, the email template, so we can edit that message if we need to. So once everything is correct, I can save that. So we default to where the repeating invoices are kept, which is under the tab of repeating. Now I've only got the one I've just created, but I would have a list down here if I'd got more. So I can then click into these and um, make any amendments that I need to, or if the repeating um, template or the, the repeating sale, so my support, the client wants the support to end, I haven't got an end date on there, so I could select this, check when it's about, and I can delete, and then Zero will no longer create those invoices.